Having too much variety in your diet is the reason you're getting shit results. In this video, I'm gonna explain why you should keep your meals more consistent over time, and I'm gonna tell you what I eat on a regular basis. I hope that you can use this to either improve the results that you're getting, or at least speed them up. And if you're new here, I'm Blair. I'm an online coach that specializes in helping people build lean athletic bodies so that they can do the stuff they want to do without second guessing themselves. So honestly, the biggest reason as to why I like keeping my foods very consistent over time is that it just takes the thinking, the effort and the energy out of me having to plan what I'm going to eat all the time. If I think back to when I was in sort of my early 20s, right, and I was going in, going into Aldi on the weekends and grabbing all my bits and pieces, right, I would probably sit down at home for the best part of an hour and try and figure out what I was going to eat, right? And when I say figure it out, I mean, I would be looking on Instagram, be looking online for recipes that I want to try that I maybe haven't tried before. And then I would be putting those recipes into my fitness pal to kind of see how they would add up and make sure they were fitting into the numbers I was aiming for. And then I would try and make a shopping list, go and do the shopping, come home and I would food prep. That whole process would take fucking ages. <laughs> and honestly, I think it just got to a point where I was like, I cannot be asked to do this anymore. But I really did stick to that for quite some time. And when I reflect back on it, I think it was valuable just in teaching me the skill of finding different recipes, cooking different recipes, seeing kind of what works for me, teaching me the habit of regularly tracking my food and my fitness pal and getting a really good understanding of what I can eat across the day to hit my certain targets. But it definitely wasn't something I wanted to continue doing again and again and again. So instead of spending hours every single week trying to figure out what I was gonna eat, plugging it into my fitness pal and doing that whole entire process, I just decided, fuck it, I'm just gonna eat the same thing pretty much every single week. And I know there's probably some of you watching this thinking, oh, that's so boring, you know, what about variety in your diet? Variety is the spice of life. I'm like, nah, I'm not, not so bothered about that. I get plenty of variety in my diet on the weekends, but Monday to Friday, I would much, much rather have to put less thought, less energy and less effort into what I'm eating, but know that what I am eating is ticking the boxes for the goals that I've got. So overall, I just like to eat the same things because it's less effort for me to know that I'm getting the right nutrients into my body, I'm eating the right amount of food for the goals that I have without having to figure it out from scratch every single week. Another reason why I back keeping your meals more consistent across time is that your body will get better at digesting foods that you're eating on a regular basis. So take me for example, I have eggs on toast for breakfast pretty much every single day. I actually love eating that so I don't even like changing on the weekend, I would rather have my eggs on toast on the weekend. But I can pretty much guarantee that my body's going to be pretty damn efficient at digesting tiger bread and eggs. So whilst your breakfast doesn't have to be eggs and bread every day, try and find something that you like, is easy to make, you look forward to, and that you know your body can digest well. And again, my lunches are pretty much always some form of white meat with either potatoes or rice and then some vegetables. So arguably, there's a little bit more variety in my lunches, but probably a lot less than you on the other side of the video watching this. But again, I know that my body can be very efficient at digesting those types of foods, especially because I'm eating them again and again and again and again. So my point here is this, if you're someone who's grabbing their lunch on the go quite often, or even grabbing their breakfast on the go quite often, on the way to work, or even just changing up what you're having for these meals all the time, then your body isn't going to get that much better at digesting certain types of foods. Now you maybe go back to the office after lunch feeling a little bit bloated, feeling like you need to get yourself to the bathroom. Everyone's been in that situation. I know I certainly have when you're trying to hold when you're trying to hold something in and it's not very enjoyable. It's quite uncomfortable. You feel like you have to loosen your belt up a little bit. Ultimately, you can avoid that by eating foods that you know your body digests well. And your body will get more efficient at digesting the foods that you're eating on a regular basis. Now, of course, if you're someone who is lactose intolerant or someone who is celiac, going and chugging a bunch of milk or eating a shit ton of gluten, your body's not going to get much more efficient at digesting it. There's, of course, cases like that that we can't change. But what I'm talking about is things that you know are either you're not allergic to or you know sit well with you. If you eat those things more often, your body will get more efficient at digesting them. And therefore, you avoid finding yourself in uncomfortable situations where actually 
you feel like you've got that bloatedness coming through and you're having to loosen your belt or you're going to have to run to the toilet any second. And then to me, ultimately, that makes us all far more productive because we can take our mind away from what's going on here and we can focus on what's going on at work, what's going on in our surroundings, what's going on in our social circle. And the final reason why I like to keep my diet pretty consistent over time, and this one's maybe a little bit more personal to me, but I actually feel like it makes me appreciate other foods when I do have them. So for example, as I've mentioned, on the weekends, I let myself be a little more flexible. I still have my eggs on toast, but my lunch, sometimes I don't have lunch. Sometimes we go out for lunch. Sometimes I have something at home, something completely different. Same thing with dinners. Maybe we cook a nice meal for ourselves here. Maybe we go out for dinner with friends. And I think that because I'm more rigid with myself, and I don't want to say strict, I just want to say I'm a little bit more rigid with myself during the week, I then appreciate the different foods I eat on the weekend. And I think it gives me, it gives me a bit more enjoyment when I do eat those foods because I'm not giving that to myself all the time. So yeah, so for me anyway, I think it gives me a bit more of an appreciation for eating different foods when I do. But ultimately, I still wouldn't want to be eating all these different foods all the time because one, I would then not value them as much. And two, my body wouldn't be as good at digesting the foods that I eat on a regular basis. And three, it would just take me a hell of a lot longer time to plan out what I'm gonna eat for the week. So if you want to improve the results that you're getting or boost the speed at which you're getting those results, maybe you should try eating a more consistent diet as I've explained in this video. And if this has been useful for you or you know someone else that might find it useful, don't forget to subscribe, send it their way, and I will see you in the next video.